Welcome. This is Melinda Barlow, CZT Certified Zen Tangle Teacher, and ooh la la, I love this tangle. I love it on the dark brown one that I did, and I love it as a border. And this is one I saw Maria do, and I kind of fell in love with that too. I don't know if this one has a name. It's kind of like um, pepper, and but just a little reversal of pepper is what she said, but this around the outside is called Wigwag and it's by Odie Genevi Genova Genova Jody Genova and it's a great tangle. It can be uh, used as a frame, it can be a border it's just beautiful. We're going to just do, um, I'm going to put some dots right here on, and I've got to try to use the upper part of the screen. So I'm going to put some dots in my corners because I'm going to use this as a border. And I like to have just something that's going to help me um, keep it in line. So I'm going to start here in the corner and I'm going to come up and it's kind of like a C wave like the kind of captions that and then we're going to turn and I worked all the way around and now we're just going to take that little top of that point and aura, but you, you start out at the point and then you come back in. So you kind of have a heavy piece of ink there. Let me come in and I just like to repeat until I have that filled up. And I'm going to do this last and it's going to come all the way around and up to there. So it kind of turns that corner. And we just repeat this little wave all the way around. Simple yet just elegant. So it really doesn't matter if your little waves are not exactly even. I love curvy tangles. And there I have my last little one on the top. There we can see the, the whole thing. And you can't come back. And I like, and just do that underside so that it fills in. I like to. Just give it one more go around on the back side of it. Just to fill that in a little bit. And there we have wig wag. And I'm just going to show how I did this center piece on this one because I think it's it's such a beautiful little uh, tangle to go with it. I'm just going to put a little dot in the center. That's going to be my starting point. And then I'm going to come down and then I'm going to weight the back side of that line. Just 
just going to put a little weight on the back side. And I'm just going to repeat that. And that little weight, I think, on the ends just gives the drama that you need in a tangle. And you notice I kind of swirl out of that center. There was a little bit too much space there, so I'll go back and fill that in. There we have that center. Isn't that just beautiful? But we need to shade it. And I am going to sharpen my pencil. It's a little dull, and I like a really sharp point when I do some shading. I want that fine point to be here, and I'm just going to shade right here on the back side of where I've given that weight. Just to lay down a little bit of graphite. And what, you see how I turn my tile as I go? And now I'm going to get my shading stump. And shade that and you can also take your graphite and come around the bottom of this um, wigwag I'll show you what's going to happen and I'm going to shade pull this out But I love what, what shading does to a tangle. And there you have wig wag. And I have it two in the round. And then I did one that is just a bunch of wig wags in a row. It is a beautiful tangle. Just, matter of fact, I think it's very elegant. And I want to thank Jody again for this beautiful, elegant tangle. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Um, I have new videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. And support for this channel comes from shopping at Inkadoodles.com. And there is a sale on paper. You get a discount, and it's in the description below. You'll get the discount words and a link. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day and tangle every day.